Hi, my name's Kip Cooper. I'm a civil engineer with Becker, currently working down in Christchurch on the infrastructure rebuild. One of my projects was the upgrade of a, uh, a 22,000 vehicle per day um, main road into one part of the eastern suburbs. And um, that was to widen it from two lanes to three and also to include a, a four metre wide coastal pathway and a new seawall. And it was a huge challenge to get so much infrastructure built and designed in a, in a really compact time frame. Um, and that's certainly something I use every day as a, as a surfer. I use that road every day to, to get to the beach. Um, and it's been a, a, a great project to work on as a young engineer. Last few years, I, I guess since graduation, Beck has been hugely supportive with my um, personal career interests. I've taken part in public speaking competitions and they've given me a huge amount of support to compete at an international level. They've also supported me with training and, and time off to do volunteer work uh, in Fiji and, and disaster response after a recent cyclone in Tonga. I look around at my, my seniors and the people who've done really well at Becker and they've, they've all had their own little piece of Becker that they've, they've built and that they can call their own. And I think that's a really, um, there's, it's, it's really admirable to see that a company can um, let people have a go and, and they'll support them when they see there's a great opportunity. Christchurch after the earthquake, um, in terms of the nightlife and going out for a few drinks, um, that's certainly been an exciting time. There's been a load of new bars pop up, whether that's uh, a bar that's been put in a container and can just get dropped off on the corner of a street, or whether it's a new, a new bar made out of pallets. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff popping up all the time. A year or so ago when I, when I got married and some friends came over and I'd, I'd been to uni with them in Newcastle back in England and they came over at the same time of year as this and uh, they couldn't believe they were getting sunburnt every day and they were going down for barbecues on the beach and it really is just like that all around New Zealand. Mm -hmm.